We are H A P P Y. We are H A P P Y. We know we are, we are sure we are, we are H A P P Y. Happy. Yes, that's what it spells. Let's take that song again. We are H A P P Y. We are H A P P Y. We know we are, we are sure we are, we are H A P P Y. Happy. I'm going to sing another song that has to do with words and spellings. And some of you might know it, most of you might not, but trust me, it's a really fun song. I enjoyed singing this as a kid. H I P for the hip, for the hip. P O P O for the hip, po, po. N T A M U S for the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. H I P for the hip, for the hip. P O P O for the hip, po, po. N T A M U S for the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. <laughs> That's an old song. It was a song we used to use to march to class when I was younger. And you go left, right, left, right, H I P for the hip, for the hip. I don't know if they still do that these days, but that was fun. Hi, friends. My name is Miss Mimi, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, I'm here for my older friends. If you're six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, I'm here for you today. We're going to be talking, we're going to read a story later for the younger ones, but for the older ones, we're going to be talking about story starters. What's a story starter? Think about it. Sometimes you want to write a story. Sometimes at school, your teacher, your English teacher says, oh, write a story about something strange that happened. You want to write that story, but you don't know how to start. That's why there's such a thing called story starters. Sometimes all you need to get your story going is having the first few words on the page. When you have those first few words, then you think about it and ask yourself, how can I make this story better? What? And, and there are several questions you ask yourself in a story while writing a story. What does the character want? What does the character do? What choices does the character have to make? How should my story end? Do I want a sad ending? Do I want a happy ending? Do I want a surprising ending? Those questions can help you form your story. Now, for example, if you're six, seven, eight, nine, you should get a book and sit in front of the screen right now because we're going to practice writing a short story together. I'm just gonna give you a story starter and I want you to use your imagination. When you have a story starter, it gives you the foundation for your story. And then you use your imagination. Guess what? That's something we all have. Imagination. I-M-A-G-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. We all have it. Nobody has no imagination. Once you're a human being, you have imagination, right? And we're all going to learn how to use our imagination to create something beautiful. So get your writing materials, your pencil, your paper. Listen, your story doesn't have to be a whole page. It doesn't have to be two pages. It can be five lines. It can be 10 lines, right? It can be one sentence, but make sure you put something on the page that came out of your mind came out of your imagination. Are we ready? Okay, so get your pen. I'll give you a few seconds to get your writing materials and then we'll dive right into this. Okay, now I want you to think about this. What makes up a story? It's words, right? Sentences and words. Think about words that you would want to have in your story. And you can write those words down on the side of your page. Okay? Now, here's the thing. 
you don't have to know all the words in the world. You don't have to know how to spell all the words in the world. But if you know how, to, if you know the words you want to use, you write it down. You can always check if the spelling is correct later on. That's why we have dictionaries. That's another thing, friends. You have to know how to use a dictionary. If you want to learn to write, you have to always use a dictionary. Because sometimes you know the words, but you don't quite know what it means, right? So that's why the dictionary is, is, is your, going to be your friend. So if you have a physical dictionary, you should get one and put it right beside you right now. You can use it later. Okay, so I'm going to give us a story starter. And then I will give you a few minutes to come up with something you want to fill up that story starter. And let's see how far your imagination can go. Okay, are we ready? Can we do this? Okay. This is my story starter. The first thing Kara saw when she woke up was... Dash. Da, 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 da. I'll take that again. The first thing Kara saw when she woke up was dot dot dot. You write the story starter down. The tricky word. First thing Kara saw when she woke up was I took those one by one so you can get the spelling down right these are pretty easy words to spell okay so I'm gonna take it again the first thing Kara saw when she woke up was now, if you didn't get it this time, you can pause the video, take it back, and play. So, yes, there we have it. That's our story starter. You know what the story starter does? It already sets us up for something. Something's going to happen. It's up to you to decide what's going to happen. Isn't that interesting? It's amazing. I feel like when I'm writing the story, I'm creating a world of my own. I'm going to create something that people are going to read and are going to be like, huh, you know Yes, it makes me feel powerful. Writing makes me feel powerful. And it's your power because you get to do what you want on the page. So the first thing Kara saw was, I'm gonna throw out a few phrases or a few words that you can decide to put in your story or not. Honestly, it's your choice. Um, fish, snake, People, happy, amazed, darling, friend, son, bedroom, parents. I hope these words are giving you ideas. Ideas of what you can put in, what you can add, Okay, again, if you didn't get those words, you can pause the video, take it back, and play it all over again, and you get it, okay? The first thing Kara saw when she woke up was dot, 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 dot. You have some words in your word bank that you can use and put in the story. You have your story starter, okay? Now, you also have your imagination. I want you to think about it. What would happen if the character did something different. The character in this case is Kara, right? I've talked about this before on a, a video on my channel about how characters can be animals or people, okay? So, Kara is the character in the story. What would happen if she... if she turned on the gas in the kitchen? What would happen? I'm already excited at the thought of, you know, creating this story. And I'm just going to be upfront. I haven't thought about anything about this story before this video. This is all coming from my imagination. I have it. You have it. Okay? So let's use it. The more you use it, the better you get at it. 
Okay, so what would happen if Kara turned on the gas in the kitchen? You want to know how old Kara is, okay? Think about who, how old is your Kara? And if your Kara is three and she turns on the gas in the kitchen, you realize that's a problem, right? If your Kara is nine and she turns on the gas in the kitchen, well, there might be a problem, but not so much, okay? Now, if your Kara is 14 and she turns on the gas in the kitchen, she probably wants to make a meal or something. So your character's age will determine what the character does with the gas that she turned on in the kitchen. Are you liking this? Are you seeing where I'm going with this? Because I'm enjoying this. We're building this story together. Um, okay. What are all the possibilities that you can think of with this story? The first thing Kara saw when she woke up was dot, dot, dot. She could see, she could have seen an alien. That's a possibility. That's a wild possibility. You can choose to go that far out or you can choose to bring it a little bit closer to home. The first thing Kara saw, it could be a dog. That's closer to home, right? More believable. It could be a horse. It could be dirty plates. It could be an angel. <laughs> it could be Santa Claus. It could be any single thing. Whatever you choose determines this, the, 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 the direction that your story will go. Okay? Now, we have different elements to the story. We have the starter. We have the world bank I gave you earlier. We have the possibilities things that could happen. Now, we also have what would happen if Kara turned on the gas in the kitchen. And I told you several things could happen which would make you think about how old Kara is. What does Kara look like? What does she like? By the time you put, think of these things and put them down, you will see that you're already forming a story of your own. I'm not gonna give you more right now. I'm going to say, how about we think of how we want to end our story. Before you end your story though, something happens in the story. That's what makes stories fun. Something has to happen. You don't just say, oh, when Kara woke up in the morning, the first thing she saw was the sun. And she closed her eyes and opened it again and saw the sun again. And she closed her eyes and opened it again. And this time she saw her cat. And then she said, hey kitty, hey kitty, hey kitty. And that was how it ended. Nothing happened, it's boring. For stories, we want something fun to happen. The first line is already, it sets you up for fun stuff, okay? So, if you have a first line, you put in something amazing that happens next, and then you put in the middle of the story. This happened, then this happened, and this is how, this was the problem. Then this is how, this is how th the solution came together. And this is how it ended. That's how you write a story. Easy peasy, friends. Okay? I don't expect you to write a story while watching this video. I expect you to pause. And as I'm, I know as I'm talking, you're getting ideas. So you pause and you write down some ideas. And then after this video is over, you can go back and think about it. And, you know, fill up the gaps in your story. So it's something amazing. You will be proud of yourself. Okay? So, before I go, I'm going to... I'm going to... You know, come up with my own Kara story. Right now. Right now. Uh, okay. Okay. The first thing Kara saw when she woke up. Oh, so first of all... Before you play this part, make sure you've come up with your own story first. You pause, write your story, and then you come play and listen to mine. I don't want mine to influence your story, okay? Thank you, okay. So the first thing Karen saw when she woke up was the trunk of an elephant. And it was swinging left and right through her window. <gasps> what is this? Kara screamed as she stood up from her bed, eyes wide open in shock. 
Why was an elephant's trunk swinging itself through the window of her room? Mommy, mommy, Kara cried. There's an elephant in my room. There was no response. Mommy? Daddy? Where are you? Come see, there's an elephant in my room. And then the door burst open and in comes Kara's mom and dad. Running, out of breath. Hey baby, what's going on, what's going on? There's an elephant in my room. Elephant? Mom and dad look up at what Kara is pointing at. Honey, that's not an elephant. That's just a scarf that's hanging on your window. A scarf? Kara said, yes, honey, it's a scarf. Look, do you want to touch it? Kara's mom took down the scarf and held it in front of Kara. Oh, wow, it really is a scarf, said Kara. How come I thought it was an elephant's trunk? <laughs> Dad laughed. Well, it looks kind of gray. Plus, you've got a pretty vivid imagination, my daughter. I can see how you would think that's an elephant's trunk. Kara smiled. She took the scarf and wrapped it around her neck. Well, I can always pretend it's an elephant trunk, she said. Kara's mom and dad laughed and they went away. The end. <laughs> I, as I was telling that story, I could see the pictures in my head. I, I had no idea that an elephant's trunk was going to come out of my mouth until I began telling that story. I had no, fun fact, I had no idea how the story was going to end either. I was, as I was telling the story, I was thinking about it. I had a choice. I was like, hmm, what if the story ends as a dream? And it turns out Kara wakes up and says, oh, I was just dreaming. But I was like, I don't think I like that ending. How about if it's just Kara's imagination? I think I like that ending more. So I really enjoyed doing that. I don't know. I feel so emotional right now. But I really enjoyed telling that story. And um, I hope this has inspired you to write. I'm going to do some more writing tips and writing videos just so it encourages you to get more, to dig into your imagination, right? And come up with something amazing, just like you. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I hope you have fun. You can watch this video a thousand times and you will get the gist, okay? Thank you and bye.